As has been in the past elections, the towering Kenyatta International Conference Center will be the venue for presentation of credentials by presidential aspirants. They will be presenting themselves before the IEBC in Shimba Hills Hall on the first floor of the building. And this is the setting. The aspirants will be accompanied by their running mates who will also be presenting their papers together with the presidential candidates. Martha Karua of NAC Kenya will be the first to appear before the IEBC officials between 9 a.m. and 9.45 a.m. Each aspirant has been allocated 45 minutes with a 15-minute transition between aspirants. Peter Kenneth of the Kenya National Congress will come in next at 10, followed by Professor James Legilisho Kiyapi of Restore and Build Kenya. Wycliffe Musalia Mudavadi will close tomorrow's chapter between midday and a quarter to 1 p.m. On Wednesday, Uhuru Kenyatta will be the first to present his papers, that is between 9 and 9.45 a.m. He will be followed by a new entrant in the presidential race by the name Mohamed Abduba Dida of the Alliance for Real Change. Dida is a former high school teacher and now a businessman. He hails from Wajir. He is 39 years old. Raila Odinga has been slotted in for 11 a.m. followed by Paul Mwite of Safina Party. Although on that timetable presidential candidates have been listed with the names of their parties and symbols without considering coalitions, the IEBC has clarified that it will use the symbols, the names of parties or coalitions as preferred by the political parties or coalitions that have presidential candidates in the coming elections. The aspirants have been given strict instructions to be accompanied by only 11 people to avoid crowding. Only one family member, the aspirant's proposer and seconder, his or her running mate, the running mate's one family member and two party signatories, the bodyguards of the aspirant and the running mate, and only two aides. The aspirants are required to show proof of Kenyan citizenship by birth, the certificate of the party that nominated him or her, proof that the aspirant is registered as a voter, and proof of 48,000 voters supporting the candidature, meaning 2,000 each from 24 counties, and academic certificates. The aspirants will at the same time pay a nomination fee of 200,000 shillings for male candidates and 100,000 for female presidential candidates. Meanwhile, Amani presidential candidate Musalia Mudavadi and his running mate Jeremiah Kioni have beaten a retreat and dropped the idea of being considered for nomination into the National Assembly after elections should they lose the presidency. Mudavadi and Kioni were on the UDF list for possible nominated members of parliament, but Mudavadi says he would rather concentrate on winning the presidency. UDF's move to include Mudavadi on the list had been described by observers as being politically suicidal as it could have sent apathy among the deputy prime minister's supporters on the grounds that he was not confident on winning the presidency and had plan B of nomination, so to speak. Alex Chamada for Monday special.